today. Acts chapter 8 is where we are. And we are studying today as we have over the last few weeks. I believe today is number five in this uh, short series as we topically study through the book of Acts. We're asking the question, if Jesus Christ is the New Testament Joshua, if the church is the New Testament uh, uh, commissioned people, if the whole world of lost sinners is now the, 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 the land of conquest, the promised land for the Messiah to go and take souls for himself, how exactly, how precisely does the Bible tell us that Jesus does build his kingdom? That Jesus does spread his church. How does he do it? And we've seen that it's, it's through the preaching of the word that is now revealed in clarity because we're in the last days. This is the days that the Messiah is being made known. Then we looked at the fact that it's through deep and true Christian fellowship that people see the love of God, hear the word of Christ, and come in and are drawn in. We looked at the fact that it is through persecution, uh, not persecution, but uh, negative legal action against the church that makes the church bold and strong and, and praying. And there's another one that I forget, but today, I hope you don't forget, I'm sure you remember what I preach on, but today we're doing persecution. How the church is persecuted and Jesus does not allow it. I don't want you to ever think that Jesus allows persecution against his church. Now, no, I'm not a prosperity preacher today. You've come to the right church, but God does not allow persecution to come to his church. He ordains it. He sends it. He uses it. In as much as we pray for earthly help and things like that, don't forget that, that if we pray, God, take away all persecution, it's, it's his hand that is on the chisel. It's the hammer that is in his hand that is driving persecution into us to shape us like Jesus Christ. He is the one that does not allow but sends persecution to us for our good. We're going to look in Acts chapter one, uh, sorry, Acts chapter eight and verse one to three this morning. <clears throat> After the, the deacon, Stephen, had preached and was killed, it then says, "And Saul approved of his execution." And there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem. And they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made great lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house. And he dragged them off, women, men, and committed them to prison. May God bless the reading of his own word to our midst this morning. The early church had fellowship. We saw this. The early church in those early months and years in Jerusalem had red hot fellowship. They had unity, which even at one point was at risk because the Greek widows weren't getting fed while the Jewish widows were. They, they sorted it out. They established leaders called deacons and they managed it. There was, a, there was a roaring unity among the people as they proclaimed Jesus. They had biblical leadership as we see in Acts 6 the apostles and the deacons, the ministers of the word and the ministers to the physical needs of the people. They were witnessing, Acts chapter 2 through 4 tells us, they were praying for boldness, they were going in boldness, they were preaching in boldness, people were being saved. But that was not her commission. The commission of the church was not to have unity, to have fellowship, to proclaim the gospel and to establish biblical churches in Jerusalem. Her commission that Jesus said was going to every nation. Her commission was, as Jesus says, wait in Jerusalem, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, wait in Jerusalem until you receive the spirit of power so that you may be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the world. So they were doing the right thing for Jerusalem to a, to a degree. They were witnessing to Jerusalem, doing all those other good things there, but because they had forgotten the, the going, the sending element of her mission, everything else was therefore out of joint. And they were doing good things, but without the right end, and therefore they were closed in on themselves. They were not going. So even the fellowship, even the leadership, even the unity, even the preaching, all of that was lacking its most necessary element, which was the going and the building of the church in every city, tribe, tongue, and nation. 
So, what obedience would not do, suffering was sent to, to accomplish. 